Hey everyone, it's me again. Um, so, uh, kind of lost my job. So I opened up a ton of uh, art commission slots. Um, you can check my prices on Perfinity or DeviantArt.com. You can also email me at my email, K-I-L-O, K-I-L-O, 33, at live.com, and I can get you a quote. Uh, 15 slots open right now. I might open more. Um, but to get down to business, uh, main thing right now, we didn't default in a freak miracle in which God must have parted the heavens and said, This will happen. We didn't default on the debt because the Republicans and Democrats agreed on something. Oh my god, they agreed! It's incredible! Maybe now they'll start passing legislation that actually makes sense! No. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen for quite a bit of time. Uh. Obama's not gonna get reelected that much, is for sure! Yeah, he is probably going to be the first president since Kennedy to not serve two terms in uh, office, meaning one. Honestly, if Hillary gets office, she couldn't possibly do worse than Obama has done so far. Uh, he says a lot of things, means a lot of things, but as far as I'm concerned, not a lot of what he's gone after has gotten done. He hasn't reduced our troop count in the Middle East. He's actually increased it. He spent us to the cap. Well, he allowed us to get spent to the cap. And only in the face of an absolute meltdown crisis did he even do, really do anything. I mean, yeah, he was president when we got up. Uh, what's his face? Um, got him off. Uh, Osama bin Laden. There we go. You know, and he announced to the public, he's like, Yay! We got something done! Yay! But honestly, this was a needless war. We went, we went over there, killed a ton of people, lost a bunch of people, over one guy who made one blast in the U.S. for the first time since the 1940s. Okay, you know how many act, international acts of terrorism there are that other nations don't go, Oh my god, we have to kill this boo! Over. I mean, look at what happened in Norway. That's a tragedy. And you know, yeah, that was kind of in-country to country thing, but still, that's an act of terrorism that the nation didn't go, oh my god, we have to have a vendetta against this kind of people. And you know, I know the war gets a lot of negative press, and I'm giving it more negative press, but I don't care. I never liked it to begin with. I mean, yeah, sure, right after the bat, when we were catching all these Al-Qaeda people and we put them so far into the dirt that they couldn't do anything to us. Yeah, that was fine and dandy. Now, here's the sticker. He promised us a lot of things would change in America. He promised us a revolution in American way of life. Okay, now that I've paused for you to laugh a little bit, he actually hasn't caused a revolution in American way of life. In fact, he has spent us into debt. He's allowed us to spend ourselves into so far a debt that we're barely climbing out of the hole that Bush dug us into. Yes, I'm poking fun at him. Have you noticed he's fallen completely off the political radar? We don't even really get any snapshots of him anymore. We don't get any political news. We don't get anything about him, really. And that's kind of nice, because I didn't like Bush. I would not have voted for him. In fact, my mom voted for my grandma. You can do that. You can vote for anyone you want when election day comes. If you do not like any of the candidates, you could write in Snoopy for all the valid cares. The vote will go to Snoopy. Yeah, not kidding. No. Honestly, at this point, I think my grandma would make a better president than anyone else in this friggin' U.S. So basically, what our congressmen need is a good spanking. They need the sense beaten into them with a gigantic rod of death. Learn, 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 lear
they're making a lot of stupid mistakes that were made in the past. They're not learning from history, and those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Oh yes, we also need a complete reset of the political system. Every congressman, every representative, every governor who is in office right now, voted out during their next election, cannot run for the office again. Period. And anyone who ran for office for that position in the last, um, we'll say five years, five, six years, depending on the office, six for senators, five for uh, pretty much everyone else, uh, of don't get to run either. We need some. Uh, we need a lot of fresh faces who aren't actually in seats of power at the moment. Power corrupts. Y'all have had power for too long. For those of you who are new to office, as in you have been in office for less than three years, or have only, and for uh, those people who have only held their office for one term, you'll be exempt from this reset because you haven't been in office long enough to really care basically anyone who's been in there for two or more sessions of election, you know, for their office. Don't know where I'm going with this anymore. Anyways, moving on. And here's Johnny! Just kidding. I really don't know where that reference is from. I think it might be from, like, The Shining or something. I've never actually seen The Shining. Um, moving on. Movies. Rio's actually kind of funny. Randall's actually kind of funny. Yeah, me liking Viacom stuff. Someone I know brought it to uh, work one day and we all watched it. And we all got a couple kicks out of it, but we really didn't watch that much. Anyways, moving on! Back to the topic at hand. Getting a little sidetracked. Uh, Let's see. Politics, 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 politics. What other thing there? Oh yes, uh, federal government needs to liquidate a vast majority of their physical assets. Planes, cars, trains, you name it, they should liquidate all but the essentials, i.e. the presidential vehicles that are needed to get him from A to B safely, fire off about half the federal staff, because, honestly, a senator has, like, three or four people working for him, and those people have, like, six or seven people working for them, and they have, like, two or three people working for them. So you've got about mm, 30, 40 people working for one guy. Cut the crap. That will reduce spending significantly. If we cut out at least half of the federal sub-workers... Now, I know that there's a lot of workers for particular departments, that they need them, just because of the vast amount of information that comes flowing through. But when a senator has 30 or 40 people, that's an entire state's wing department, like saying, we'll use the state of random number generator, state generator. Kentucky, for example. Uh, Kentucky had 50 people in their Department of Defense, and one of the Kentucky Senators had 50 people working for him. While the Kentucky Department of Defense needs those 50 people to process all of the paperwork that comes through, the hordes and hordes and hordes of it, the Senator needs two or three guys to work his post. He needs two guys to hand him bills and handle his direct schedulings. One to do his accounting, one to chauffeur him, should he need a chauffeur, ever, unlikely, and two more to take care of random functions. And then, his political campaign can be run with the necessary people during that year only. There should not be 20, 30 people working on his campaign. So instead of having those 30 or 40 people constantly working, those 50 people constantly working for him, I just cut that senator down to nine people which I believe is 18%. And assuming they all got paid the same rate, that is 18% of the federal expenditure for the, sen 
or that Kentucky Senator. While the Department of Defense could probably cut one or two people and still maintain probable efficiency. So as you can see, there are necessary law there is a there is a necessity for a large amount of federal workers, depending on where they're working. But all in all, you need to remember, senators and representatives don't need half a zillion people working for them. They just need a handful of good people to take care of their major businesses and that they should, in fact, just sitting there and being a figurehead, pitching ideas, should actually be involved in the processes that their underlings are actually taking care of. So honestly, for once, I'm actually glad the North Dakota Hoven guy actually got something done. Kudos, Hoven. Kudos, Hoven. Kudos. That's about all you're gonna get from me, Hoven. Anyways, moving on. That's about actually all I had to say, actually. Uh, so I hope you all um enjoyed. Leave your comments below. And remember, I've got the links to the commission slots in the in the description area, right underneath. Um, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, blah 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 blah. Standard advertisement shit. <laughs> Stuff. Anyways. Later, sayonara, ciao, 